The government has said that this tragic train crash in Odisha that has killed over 280 people happened because one train, the Coromandel Express, derailed on Friday. So there are questions on whether the government has done enough to prevent such train derailments. Just last year, a report by the Comptroller and Auditor General of India that was tabled in the Parliament flagged several shortcomings in India's railway safety mechanisms. The report showed that government ignored several warnings and here are the top 10 lapses from that report. Number one, it said that there were shortfalls ranging from 30% to 100% in inspections by track recording cars that are required to assess geometrical and structural conditions of railway tracks. Number two, it says that in 63% of derailment cases during 2017 to 2021, inquiry reports were not submitted to the accepting authority within the prescribed time schedule. It's shocking that in almost half of the cases, there was even a delay in the acceptance of these reports by the responsible authorities. Number two, the expenditure on priority works for rail safety under the Rashtriya Rail Sandraksha Kosh or the RRSK actually fell from 81% in 2017-18 to 18 to 74% in 2019-20 as you can see. But actually the non-priority expenditure actually increased from around 3% in 2017-18 to 18 to around 6% in 2019-20. So essentially we cut on our spending on rail safety work that was on top priority but instead we were spending that money on non-priority tasks. Next, the report says that this defeated the sole purpose of creating a separate dedicated fund for financing safety-related works as safety-related works were held up due to fund constraints. Next, the report shows that the actual expenditure for rail safety has been much less than budgeted. The government's actual expenditure for safety works in four years was just 79% of the total budgeted amount. In 2020-21, it was actually just 80% of the total budgeted amount. Next, uh, number five, the allotment of funds for track renewal works actually declined from 9,608 crore rupees in 2018-19 to 7,417 crore rupees in 2020. The funds allocated to, tra uh, to the track renewal works was also not fully utilized. In 2018, the actual expenditure for track renewal was 14% less than the allocated amount. The shortfall was 25% in 2019 and 12% in 2020. 20, as you can see here. Railways even failed to take corrective steps for track renewal even though 26% of derailment cases were linked to an issue with track renewals. And 3 out of 4 major train accidents in this 4 year period were due to derailments. Still, these warnings were ignored. Next, the report also flagged serious staff shortages that were leading to train derailments. It said that out of the total civil engineers required, there was a shortfall of 9 to 36 percent varying between zones of the Indian Railways. In a strong statement, the report also said that there are holes in the risk control systems that are put in place by the Indian Railways. Then it also said that required steps were not taken for adequate staffing for railway safety. And lastly, it said that Indian Railways failed to monitor preventive action on the recommendations that were made by inquiry committees. If these warnings would have been taken seriously, the government could have prevented some serious train accidents and many lives could have been saved.